What is up, everyone? Coming at you with another quick little video here. Uh, I appreciate all you guys' patience in waiting for uh, videos like this to happen. Um, it's videos like this that I really try to elaborate on the stuff that I pick up because stuff like this is really close to me. Long story short, I've been waiting years, and I mean years, to finally have this shoe in my collection. And um, I'll give you guys a history and all the details uh, in just a little bit. So let's get right into it. Um, first, let's show you the box. This is the box. Um, you're going to get on one side right here on a little piece of paper, you're going to get Visvim embossed, as you can see. And then in the cursive, you're going to get Hiroki Nakamura's, Nakamura's signature. Um, that's going to say folk and engineering. And then you're going to have free international laboratory and cubism. Sorry, it's backwards. Um, but those are some of like the key um, ideas behind Visvim, I guess. I don't really know what they mean. I don't really care. Here's the model number, the FPT Lama Folk. Uh, in sand colorway and a men's size 11. Um, a quick little tour of the box. It's a, one of those annoying ones. You're gonna get first the dust bag. It's kind of like this uh, natural cotton color with like the imperfections and you're gonna get well vis them right here and right here on a leather thing. Um, you know, very kind of like natural look to it. Um, and you're going to get this hang tag as well. Uh, it's going to say, attention, please, please be advised that the leather laces and fringes may become loose at any time, blah, 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 can get entangled. You're going to get your Visvim um, authentication tag right here. Make sure, I mean, I'm, I don't know anything about fakes about this, but this is what it looks like. And um, use a natural leather, don't get it wet, it might bleed. Typical, you know, disclaimers or whatever. Boring. So here we are with the actual shoes. These are the FBT Llama Folk in the sand colorway. This is my favorite Visvin model and my favorite color. Uh, and I'll tell you guys all about it. Um, but first, let's do some side shots. The silhouette on this is just so beautiful in my opinion. Quick little frontal shot, side, back, top, sole. Um, you know, you have your Visvim right here. I think this is a piece of leather, like a really thick piece of leather, I think, that's sewn in. Um, some more details. So on the inside, you're gonna have your sizing tag, sizing embossed, size 11, handmade. Um, and then depending on what your um, tag is, like what this is, it's gonna tell you what season it's from. Um, so this is a more recent model. I'm gonna guess this is from like 2014, I'd say, or 20. Yeah, 2014 would be my guess, guess, maybe even early 2015. The uh, OG models did not have this little hat thing as far as I know, so I could be wrong, but um, that's what I remember from my, that's what I recall. Um, so yeah, as you see, you got these little fringes that are attached onto this main flap with this pretty intricate lacing system. Uh, beading on the toe box, this is one of my favorite features of this particular iteration of the Lama Folk. Um, the beading in this little X on the toe box, and again, handmade. Um, so yeah, let's get into a little bit of details on Visvim in general. Um, Visvim is a Japanese brand that kind of has like a lot of Americana influences, um, and it was kind of brought to popularity by the whole um, Kanye West, Jerry Lorenzo movement around two years ago. Um, and it's unfortunate that most people see the value in these shoes only because of those people. Um, this is Visum is probably uh, one of the highest quality brands, like quality uh, clothing and in terms of vision and materials as well, um, brands out there. Um, so I think these are super timeless in, in addition to being super unique. So the FBT, which is the primary model um, that Visum is known for in their shoes is um, a derivative of like a Indian moccasin that Hiroki Nakamura um, was inspired by in his youth and the FBT I believe um, stands for Fun Boy 3 which is um, like a band or something that and on the cover of their um, album the lead musician or whatever I don't know if it's a singer was wearing a pair of like very um, like native looking moccasins and I think that was what the original inspiration was there's a full like history and dissertation on the Visvim website which is super interesting if you're interested in the history behind it um, 
one thing that's for sure is it's really hard to replicate these like I mean obviously um, competitors have um, come up in the last couple of years but none can really match the just the simplicity and the styling of this and I think that's has a lot to do with the vision um, and the inspiration that came with the shoe so you know, like a unique inspiration results in a unique product kind of thing um, and yeah so um, naming this is something that a lot of people fuck up on um, just because they don't really know a lot about it um, and honestly whenever I see it on the internet like someone trying to sell a pair of shoes um, I try to correct them um, because it's important that the buyers know what they're getting for example um, the FBT is something that's given to all the shoes it's the type of shoe um, it's basically the moccasin um, and then you're gonna have um, a word like LAMO um, and the LAMO which is spelled L-H-A-M-O um, refers to this flap right here um, I don't know what a llama is, I don't know what the derivative of it is, but it's basically just this solid flap all around. Um, you're going to see things like FBT Shaman. That means that this flap right here is going to be cut up into fringes. Um, that's kind of the Shaman model. Um, you might see like Seminole or you might see Amdo, AMDO, and that's just the type of material um, that this fringe is made of. But for example, my favorite is the Llama Folk, so it just has this regular um, flap right here. The folk suffix refers to the sole of the shoe. Um, typical FBTs have a very clunky white sole throughout and I absolutely hate that. It makes them look like runners um, rather than you know kind of more like sleek moccasins. Um, so the folk, any uh, shoe in the folk line is going to have this thin white sole with this black little um, heel tab kind of thing, heel counter. Um, and that's, that's simply for stylistic purposes um, but if I believe in an er interview a couple years ago uh, it was said that the folk line is like the higher that um, Visum produces so it could have some uh, correlation to uh, quality as well but all Visum products are just simply incredible um, you might have like um, an FBT shaman folk which will basically be the same sole but with a cut up fringe you might have a llama folk like this um, and you might just have like an FBT shaman an FBT Shaman JP, which is just a Japanese release of the Shaman, for example. Um, so yeah, um, another thing about generational differences, this is kind of considered the classical silhouette um, that was introduced in 2008 for the Llama Folk. It was changed in 2012. Um, it didn't have these toe box beads. It kind of had like a little X right here and right here as a little, a little stitching. Um, and the laces were made out of leather and not this kind of like ropey thing. Uh, they have a very different look, that's for sure. Um, and I'm not a big fan of it. Um, again, I'm just very picky about my shoes, as you guys know. Um, so yeah, and then they recently started putting these back out because they realized that this is probably the best shoe they've ever really made. Um, these are made seasonally with different materials. I think this is some sort of like, um, I actually don't know what it's made of. I'm gonna guess some sort of like calf uh, suede or something. Yeah, I don't really know. I know, I know they make elk leather ones, um, but it's probably on their website. My bad, I don't know. Um, and yeah, the last thing I'm gonna talk about is sizing. Um, a lot of people say go true to size. A lot of people say size down, size up. Uh, the, Basically the bottom line is it really depends by season and it depends if it's new or used. Um, obviously the new ones are like, shoes in new condition are gonna be tighter just because the leather, the suede hasn't um, molded to the foot quite as much um, as like a used shoe that's been broken in. Typically models from 2008 or 2012 um, are gonna fit big. So um, going true to size, your foot is gonna swim a little bit. I heard that in 2014, in 2015 and especially the more the most recent 2016 models of these shoes they fit completely true to size so take your normal size and if you're like in between sizes uh, size down um, but this one this is a size 11 and as you guys know I wear a size 12 um, even a 12 and a half sometimes and these fit me absolutely perfectly there's even a little bit of room with socks on so um, these fit a size large um, had I gotten a size 12, my foot would be swimming. So I'm I'm so thankful that sizing worked out. Uh, but again, it really just depends on each generation. Yeah, super duper dope. Um, I'm so stoked on this pickup. I've been trying to pick up a pair of Visvims maybe 
Um, I mean, obviously in the last several years I've been trying to get this particular model, but I've been devoting a lot of time and intention um, into picking up a pair in the last half year. And actually, um, I got scammed for a pair of Visvim uh, at the start of this year, and that's kind of when I had like a big pause in my YouTube uploads because it really discouraged me. Um, took a while to get the money back, but fortunately I did, think, thanks to PayPal, but um, it's it's been a long time coming getting these, and I'm going to treasure these, and I'm, like I said, just so, so stoked. These are such an incredible shoe. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any comments or questions about the Visvims, uh, you see here or about the brand in general um, if, you, if you have any clarifications to anything that I said that's incorrect please sound off in the comments below um, and yeah I thank you guys for the continual support I know this is a really long video I'm gonna try to cut off a bunch of shit uh, that's extraneous because I'm just so so happy that I have these to be honest um, but yeah like I said thank you for the continual support you guys um, you should coming soon I hope peace